May 31st, 2015, and Monk is with me. What's up? Just me. Just, Just Monk. Just me today. It's a Rain Gods episode. Yep. So, um, we have some exciting news that, um, I will, I, will, I would hope to we'd turn into actual news, so that's why I'm going to put it out into the universe. Um, push, push. we were off last week because... Well, we decided that we should work on a song instead of a cave cast, and yeah. Sunday just happened to be the day we did it. So We got that shit done. Anyways, uh, we will be playing that at the end of this episode, um, debuting it on the cave cast. You won't find it anywhere else except for here. Only here. <laughs> Literally, nowhere else <laughs> in the world. Um but what we were talking about today is we want to do a music video for this uh, for this song that we got, which um, I will repeat, you can hear at the end of this <laughs> cave cast. Um, and what we want to do is, well, I don't want to give away the whole shebang, but this is an open call to any cave cast listeners. If you got sweet dance moves, I mean sweet dance moves then I want you to um, message me on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash Danny Admire, I think. I think I'm the only one. You guys know. You guys know. Or, cave music or the Cave Music Productions. Go there and like our page on Cave Music Please. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> Please. Cave Music Productions. And, we're uh, almost to a, I think. We're over 100. We are yes. over 100. We're over 100. My, my I friend. saw that. We got, a few, we, we got a few last week, I think. Anyways, if you want to, it was yesterday because I went on a, a adding spree. Oh, um, if you would like to be in a Rain Gods music video, it will be our first actual music video that we've ever done. Um, or if you would like to help in any way and be involved, and ba- mainly if you got sweet ass dance moves, yes, and really, you and need you to have, or um, preferably if you have. Or- uh, like some sort of a paraplegic, if you've lost, <laughs> if you have some sort of uh, mutation, genetic mutation, and um, you can dance, and you, <laughs> let's you, be honest, if you've got some sort of genetic mutation, you can fucking dance. You can dance, or if you even think you can dance, <laughs> which which is going to be a, that's of the people that can dance. Yes, I'm that's sure. the whole point. <laughs> and uh, so, um, yeah, hit us up and. <laughs> we'll be making this happen. I want to say within the next three weeks, we're doing this thing. It's Sweet pretty number. simple. So you, I want people, there's urgency here. Get a hold of me now and tell me you want to be in this video. And uh, then you, you, just let, you just let Admire take care of the rest. You let Big D take care of the rest, all right? Big D. We'll take care of you. Um, there will be uh, one bottle of water per per actor on set i can promise <laughs> and that's that's it anyways uh so yeah get that's a, the a good song promise. the yeah. song is called like this it's hot I, you know <laughs> you got to worry about people's hydration uh the song is well, called shit. like this and uh yeah so get a hold of us we want we want interesting people in this video it's going to be simply made um bring your own costumes BYOC, BYOD, bring your own drugs as well. So, anyways, uh, we'll move on. That's um, always how it is because I don't but, have any. You know, all I'm trying to say is just get your dance shoes on, strap your boners down, and come come be in a music video. <laughs> <laughs> strap them down. I'm visualizing this in my head right now. What Strapping the. What happens if you're you're. Strap it's it up. Unbendable down, like it's one of those that goes has like the. the curve well, to it. I figure curve. as long as it's strapped to something. Okay, you can strap it to your belt. Yeah, 
It's pointing up, but it's still strapped down. Strapped down to my yeah. belly button. Yeah. yeah. That's the way. I I'm mean, not talking about myself here. <laughs> His boner is completely not strapped down right now. <laughs> just wide out. Um, wide out. My fly out. So uh, let's go. Let's go local real quick. I kind of wanted to get your uh, opinion on this thing. Yeah. This uh, Roseburg Indians. Okay. It's been it's been coming for a couple of years, and um, when was it? It was like two years ago, I would okay. say, when the people started talking about yeah, it. Yeah, when it was going to happen. Which I think you can mark the two years ago as when everything started going wrong as far as people getting offended about everything. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it, it it's been. Yeah, the, so, people get a f- fucking way too sensitive. So <laughs> to set to set this up for anybody that doesn't uh, isn't familiar with with <laughs> the little town of Roseburg, Oregon, and our local politics, yeah. um, which I'm, you all are. Let's be honest, yeah. you all are. Uh, the yeah. high school that we went to and graduated from. Well, not all of all of my friends graduated they from there, but there. they went there yeah. for sure. Uh, and you know, played played sports for and everything. We were we were D, uh, ride or die Indians, Roseburg Indians when we were on sports teams. Yep. And uh, we're that I played we're football. Champ, you played baseball, like basketball. I I enjoyed leader baseball. of the chess team. I enjoyed baseball. <laughs> like I didn't. Uh, you basketball. were a mathlete. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> According to your SAT, you, you were probably more of a mathlete than I was. <laughs> I'm a good test taker. I'm a good yeah, test taker. That's what I was always been told. STD <laughs> tests, score high on those. Uh, and placement Plus tests. Five. Anyways, um, fuck, fuck, what were we talking about? The fucking uh, Indians. Okay, so it's been the Roseburg Indians for Since forever. What, was there a mascot before it? Not that yeah, I know of. I've been the Roseburg Indians. Yeah. Time, but I'm, I don't quote me on that. We'll name the high school after you. Just don't kill the rest of my family because we're in, in your territory. Stop calling us Indians. I don't think that. Stop <laughs> calling us Indians then. This is not <laughs> India. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's you're fucking Indians. been that way for long <laughs> enough. They so, fucking, the Cow Creek. Tribe of Indians, they which, they which call is, themselves. It's on the sign. That, it is know? on the sign. Like, that's that's what it's like. If you're gonna call yourself an Indian, that's always been a, a thing with me. Know, which which that was something that that came across to me real early in school was when we were learning about Chris Columbus and all that stuff, and they were call and that's Indians, 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 and, always. And but but the beginning of the book or the beginning of the story is is uh well he thought he was in India but he really wasn't yeah and. And so it's like, okay, well, why didn't you stop Just, calling them Indians? Then? Cause you're racist fucks. <laughs> we, we don't care. You're, you're fucking Indians. Yeah. We are, I have it written down one time here on this, uh, on this animal skin. <laughs> I have it written down uh, with ink that I made from berries onto this animal skin that you're Indians. And yeah. that's going back to England like that. You know how hard it is to come across animal skins and berries for ink. <laughs> written in your blood. <laughs> that cost me. Deep. That cost me two do- two daughters to get the, the required instruments for this fucking letter that I want to send. <laughs> two, do- uh, two daughters and a half of lamb. <laughs> I, t- I tried to say two dollars. It wouldn't have been as funny that. Way. <laughs> so, um, the yes, like you said, the cow creep, cow creep. <laughs> I can't talk today. Like those God. creep, those creep Indians. Maybe I do need to have booze in my system to talk, talk, to talk good. I talk good. <laughs> I talk gooder. <laughs> I talk good. <laughs> you guys talk like a couple of assholes. Uh, I apologize for that. That was <laughs> unnecessary, really. Talking like um, a couple of assholes. So, what's going on here? Why is there checkity? Um. um Yes, I mid, ah. mid cave cast uh, vocal change. So, the Cow Creek tribe of Indians is, which is what they say on their. Uh, Didn't they get to make the decision on their sign? Well, apparent. I I don't really know how this yeah. stuff works. Someone made this decision. I know that. I know that it was fucking it. a bunch of back alley swerves that they pulled. 
try hold to, on the Native to, Americans. To try to keep the name in. Yeah, and, yeah, they're like, yeah. okay, we'll give you the casino, but we're still calling you Indians. Yeah. <laughs> Deal. Uh, you'll stop killing us? Yeah, that yeah. Was, well, here's what... We'll here, stop killing you, but here, we're, we're going to call you Indians here's forever. Here's what the Indians did. They looked at it as a business advance. They were going... They, they thought, you know, like when you make an investment on something... You you know that you know it takes a certain amount of time to get that payback, and I think that they have a you know like however many years down the line it is, however much money they make off their casinos, which yeah. is insane amounts. They make a lot. They're, of they are much better off. Than, Dylan, Dylan paid their entire fucking electricity bill yes, he, last year, so he's a rich man too, uh, Dylan Feely. <laughs> Oh God, last names. Don't say them. <laughs> yeah, he's. Yeah, I know he's a he's a he's a full fledged member. So, uh, but um, they're gonna they have, they're gonna have a you know they're gonna I think they're gonna come out on top in the end. I mean, however many years it takes, but they're gonna take over again. Yeah, kill the white man. Well, they're if they link up with I'm not white with all I'm the so other happy. all the other non non whites. <laughs> if they link if they all join arms, they can they can beat us. Well, well, that's just the kidding. thing. You, you, <laughs> just kidding, they're, non-whites. They're, they're going. They're going to have to, the, the Mexicans and blacks are going to have to get along, and that's just <laughs> not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Stereotype people. Jesus Christ! But, don't but take it some seriously. Some of them are true. They, those those two do not get along. Yeah, man. they don't. I mean, the gangs, they the gang. Not big you know, fans like they another. don't like each other. Like, <clears throat> I mean, I'm not I'm not saying that, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Comes out a little bit harsh. It um, didn't mean at it. times it does. At times it does. So I meant it. But so what we have immediately. is, um, I gotta say, like I don't have a problem with, like, okay, you've on a national scale, you've got the Washington Redskins that are fighting tooth and nail, which I'm sure that's tied in with money, which which I think as a microcosm of of that. That's what Roseburg Indians is too, because they're they have merchandising that they make off of the football play, the football teams, and but let's mostly face the it, football team. Let's face it, though they're they're printing that shit out at the put on, you know, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, it's not deals. like it, Man. It, it's it's something they could change real they quick. Must make thousands the Redskins, of it's nationwide. They have a whole fan base. Yeah, that the fucking probably has tattoos of that shit on them. They probably fucking have a red skin tattooed on their back. Oh man! You know, I, I guarantee it. All the, these people are, they change the name. To Those whatever. people are sweating right now, huh? Yeah, they're like, <laughs> I love this fucking tattoo. It'd be funny if all the people that are fighting against the change of the Redskins name are just the ones yeah. that have tattoos. Come on, man! You know how much lasering yeah. hurts. Hey, lasering! <laughs> fuck. <laughs> you know, they change like back when they changed the name of the bullets. The Washington that was a violent thing, the, right? Was, yeah, it was just because the bullets seemed like violent, you know. I guess we still the Cowboys slaughtered how many people, you know? They well, sla- this Cowboys well, slaughtered the I'm, Indians. To be honest, uh, <laughs> the Cowboys was a better name from what they originally were going to go with, which was the Dallas Nigger Hangers. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> which they had to change the, you know. They, I didn't come up with the name, people. That was that's, that's what they were gonna call themselves. I don't agree with it. No, yeah, it's, it's the truth. Look Jesus it up. Christ. Look it up on the internet, people, <laughs> and get back to me. Um, but, but <laughs> God damn, we are fucking damning ourselves right now. <laughs> today's today's <laughs> a rough one. <laughs> if, if we do ever become anything, they're gonna be looking back at this episode, going. Uh. I was thinking, let's start off with a safe one. We'll just talk about the Indians changing their names. <laughs> Hey, I've said just as much bad shit about white people as I've said about. <laughs> I don't even want to go into what the Alabama Crimson Tide used to be. Yeah, <laughs> there's a whole fucking sheaf of of yeah. names that they turned down for that no, one. Can, like, can imagine. We're just that gonna list. go with my wife's on her period. We're just gonna go with Crimson Tide, okay? Mm-hmm. All I can't mm-hmm. handle all of these. <laughs> but uh, so. Okay, so it is that it's the cow. Oh, How can we? We I can bring it back. We can come we're, back we're from this, Marcus. Back. We're we coming back. back. Um, so don't call it a comeback. The uh, the cow creep, 
cow creep. I can't stop doing it now. <laughs> they that they are the ones that have the problem with this, right? Is I'm, that what's uh, going on? They're the only. <laughs> Say, they're the only Native Americans around here that I know of, really, you know? It's the only band of Indians that I've seen, you know, like, in the, and they fucking have a... They, they run shit. They really do. They they have their hands in on a lot of stuff around here, in which I don't, you know, I I understand why. But, you know, if, if you're going to go into business with these people... In that, and they're calling for. I don't mean Mar- Marcus. I'm talking Mar- about the other group of uh, the. You know. Marcus won't call. He doesn't call you guys Indians. He calls <laughs> dark skinned Jews. Oh, they run. They run the industry. I, I just, they run it. But no, I'm just saying. If it's like going into the business with anybody, you you have to expect that you know if they're the money in, in a situation they they call a lot of the shots and if they don't want the name of the school to be the Indians anymore then okay then who cares i mean i don't really care personally let's let's read the actual story instead Good. of <laughs> instead of that's bl- how we wanted to start it, this blaming it all on the brown skin jews um <laughs> i'm pretty sure it came you know, I I bet there's somebody in in America. Well, no, that's what the uh, sure there's white the, the white uh, man has a problem too. The black Israelites say that the Jews are the Native Americans, I believe, because they say they uh-huh. they they left their homeland and came over on the Bering Strait or something like that and ended up here and settled. The, the timing doesn't work out really all that no. well. But anyways, okay, so killed the elves and the dwarves roseburg school board has other. suspended its legal challenge to the state ban on native american mascots after like learning of its unlikely learning it was unlikely to win so they're basically like you guys it's not going to happen so they're like all right we'll pull our shit back so it's a state ban on native american mascots yeah that's what i remember i think i remember back that was the whole about, issue uh okay so the i think i feel like they should widen that because the portland state vikings is kind of offensive to norse people people of <laughs> were they not vikings <laughs> i think they were weren't they? they were they were i i i think the whole issue no you is, didn't know that christopher columbus went he was thought he, he wasn't the he thought he was going to the the land of vike and he found these people <laughs> <laughs> and called them indians <laughs> they, they were really from norway but oh, they, Vi- they called oh, them vikings vikings <laughs> Christopher Columbus just went around the planet, just misnaming Name, people, misnaming them all. <laughs> um, Leif Erikson was a great Viking. Was it Leif? Leif the Red or Red? Leif. Red, Red Erikson. Leif. Leif Garrett was the singer. Leif Erikson. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I think Erickson. he was the first person. Christopher Columbus gets all the credit, but. Um, I think it was Leif Erikson who was actually killed. I think the first man killed, overseas man killed in battle on the coast of Canada. I think it was really. Yeah, it was a down downright hero. Um, nah, they were slaughtering those. Fucking <laughs> they Indians. were raping and <laughs> pillaging. They came up with the words "rape" and "pillage." Called these people beasts. Uh, so. Holy shit, it requires Oregon teams such as the Roseburg Indians to come up with a new mascot by July of 2017 or risk losing state funding. They would so take funded. the funding away from a school that educates kids. This this is where it pisses me off. It's a, it's a power play. It is. It's like, a, and then the, they're, they're basically going, nobody's going to do yeah. yeah, exactly. That's what bugs me. So... My only, I don't have a problem with it because they shouldn't be called Indians in the first place because they're not yeah. fucking Indians. But they shouldn't call themselves Indians, likewise. <laughs> like, you know, like that's their word. It's like <laughs> we fuck. took that word back. They're telling the white man. Uh, so they call us the white man, like shit. Uh, Roseburg white man. It's pretty awesome. Let's be honest. Uh, so they. You're the up. olive man. I am the olive man. My skin doesn't match up with the color white. <laughs> that beautiful olive, olive skin. skin. Do they? Uh, never mind. Want to touch it? Be, uh, no, hey, you don't. guys will be proud of me. I held off of saying a really awful joke that I knew was not going to be funny in any way whatsoever. Uh, so, like I said, I don't have a problem with 
them going to change the name Indians because yeah. they're not in they're not Indians. They're, 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 so I see that. But like you said, the the power play stuff bugs me and this culture of being offended bugs me. And that's on the line. I would be offended if if I was called an Indian still if I you know we all have gotten a little bit of Native American in us, but yeah, I have. I have, yeah, we do. I do. I'm sure not every family, but there there's a lot of families that yeah. have you know. And if even if you have hardly any, you get you get you know benefits because of that. Yeah. And, and so there is stuff written in 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 the fine print saying that you know they do have a little bit. Well, we fucking took their land. I'm trying to justify <laughs> us being here. I guess. <laughs> Um, there is, there is none. There's no justification here's behind a, it. Here's a blanket full of smallpox. Go take a nap. Oh, blankets. We're gonna, yeah, we're warm, gonna, keep warm. We're going to watch this land for you while you sleep. It was, per- that's what turned my, it was purposeful. They, I mean, we purposely gave them oh, and the, smallpox blankets. And also, know. also the wholesale slaughter of buffalo just to take away their food source in the Plains Indian, mm-hmm. with, from the Plains Indians, yep. they slaughtered mountains like literally mountains of buffalo to just to take away because that was their source of everything yeah that those plains so indians that food. was their source uh and clothes Clothing. and yeah and shelter and and everything where and it was where you you know you kill one animal and you feed the whole fucking tribe yeah instead of having to kill two or three deer or we whatever we killed them fucking dead didn't we pretty much they're they're, they're very they're still few. around yeah but uh Oh, speaking of which, the black rhino, the African black rhino, is now extinct. The last one just died. Uh huh. Well, I'm, that's sad. That's Man not... made. Um, we're awesome. Yeah, we're pretty, pretty fucking cool. Man's awesome. <laughs> Look what we build. Uh, Look what we do. Man, this Rosberg, Look how far we go. This Roseburg Indian conversation is depressing me about the state of God, mankind. Uh, we we fucking it's not like it's been hasn't been like this since the beginning of fucking mankind. It, it, they they and had Mr. Socko, Mr. Socko, mankind, the mandible claw. I didn't mean to interrupt. So from the beginning, I of thought dude, we were talking about mankind. From the beginning here of now. dude love. What what? <laughs> well. well then he, he turned into Cactus Jack. <laughs> that was the one that I really... I, I like the Cactus Jack mankind, Mick Foley. Anyways, no, <laughs> the fucking people... The very first, like, h- human-like creatures... <laughs> the fucking, they killed each other. There was murder. I mean, they killed each other. There was, like, there was like one with, like, stab wounds all in it from another. Uh, they found this skeleton. It was a scab. Well, but, so we've just been murdering each other for a long time. It's been stated that our aggression as is, is, is human beings is going to be our downfall. If we're go- it's going to overpower it's all the- of our other senses as a whole. I mean, some of us don't let it happen, but it's, it's that, instinct. Uh, it, it's that eat the young lizard portion of our brain that yeah, we have. Exactly. That you, you know, you see videos of of dudes. We've talked about it before. Mm. Fights and shit when when a guy's out cold. And the other it's guy like, doesn't have the presence of mind and the compassion to, go, I've to stop. This. I've, this is over. And yeah. he just keeps trying to hurt. And yeah, and people shooting each other and stabbing each other for the want to do it. Yeah, you know, uh, just to just to gain something physical. Yeah, and and I'm not talking about uh, immortality like the Highlander. <laughs> you know. Well, that's if you a- if you were cutting off somebody's head because just to get their power, Eesh. I could see that. You know. Well, yeah, because but just because they drew your god on a piece of you, pa- huh? <laughs> on a piece of paper. I say, I, I, it, when I was younger, I, I had a really competitive, and I still am competitive, uh-huh. but it, because I like, I, I like the camaraderie. I'm more competitive of, than you are. No, I don't think so. I think, I think we could, we could prove this. I think you take no, it. Back I'm so right much now. more competitive. I'm so much more fucking competitive. I will you. fucking kill you. I, you don't. Want... All right. I have three knives in arm's reach right now, and I guarantee I could kill you faster than you could kill me. I, I concede. That is survival. <laughs> <laughs> that's another man-made. That mankind. That's the instinctual shits we do. 
We I, I was going to concede before you were going to concede. No, I fucking conceded first. <laughs> I'll concede all over your face. But that that was make love. that whole fucking competitive shit, shit that I did when high school wanting to win everything I fucking did. Yeah. That's all that was. <clears throat> I thought it was something special. It felt it felt because it felt right. really good to win all the time. And and and, and, and it, I mean, like I was a gracious loser. I, I didn't fucking throw a fit, but it it you know it didn't feel as good as winning. Right. And and I feel like I was the opposite end of that spectrum. I feel like I wasn't it. I didn't have enough of the killer instinct when I was young. Like even now in situations I've got to dig in myself. I got to find that in there and, and bring it out. Yeah. It's there, you know, but it doesn't, it doesn't surface. You uh, yeah. are, you are way like as far as sports and stuff. Like I, I've, I've always been, well, I, not anymore. I, like I said, I know how to access that competitive. Yeah. It's, but before, when I was younger, it was it was a complacency. You know what I mean? Like a, I didn't have enough of like. It's a learned thing. I, yeah. I, if I think back, because I didn't have it at first. Yeah. It wasn't some. It was something that I had to get people told me, pounded into my head. Right. You, you know, you have to want it. You have to want it. You know, you have to. It's not. You just. It doesn't. You can't just get by by mm-hmm. by doing it because it's fun. Because you watch, and I saw other kids that did that. Yeah. And it's just like, come on, and they fucking fucked the game up because they, you know, they didn't care if they won or lost. So, and you're wanting, and then all yeah. you're wanting to win. And so that's when it's like, okay, I understand this. I understand you have to, there's a difference between just playing the game well, and, and being also part of the game. On a higher level than you ever, you know, than you ever were, there's guys, I remember, uh, I don't know if you remember Ryan Russell. He was a he was the guy that you're talking about that threw fits when he when shit didn't go his way, and uh, you know I was always I was always somewhat of a cheerleader as far as like taking those guys and trying to be like no dude let, you know fucking you're not helping let's get back on track where we need to be because I gained Being that the glue There's I gained the that, uh, that sort of competitiveness playing for the Roseburg High School football team <laughs> junior year where to where it's like oh okay like. You know, I've always, I was, oh, I, I was not physically gifted. So just going on heart was all I ever had. But then also like you, you, you start figuring shit out and, and it, you're right. Yeah. I mean, it does hurt, but then, but I've met these guys that, that I think get it from an overbearing father figure where, Ooh, that's how, that's... where they're super competitive with everything or a bigger brother that you feel like, you that's know, that's where, where that whole, like aggression is going to kill the fucking mankind yeah. because yeah. Uh, it, that's what's happening. You, you know, you learn it. I mean, I think, I think turning it off and on is a real big thing. Like you say, like you're saying, you, you, if you don't have it to begin with, that means you're turning it off and on. You, you yeah. know how to turn it yeah. off and on because you realize it's not the, it, it's, it's just, <laughs> it's not the way you were, you know, but you, you learned how to teach yourself to be that way. And I'm sure with playing football, you playing football under, you know, how 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 much of a testosterone filled sport that is. Yeah. It it's, you know, it's opposite of baseball. It's op. It's the complete opposite of of. A, it's a fast paced. All the you know, like when you're playing, you're playing fast. Right. Baseball's so slow, and it's just Dude, it's real methodical. And to think of how many minor concussions we all gave each other just from bumping heads super hard when we were all jacked up on testosterone. Yeah. And during the game, like there's been a couple times where I, 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 you know, decide to bump heads with somebody like Troxel, Bam. And, he, and his fucking he, big ass barely moves. Which, by the way, Troxel, if you're listening, I'm pissed off at you. <laughs> on a side note, I heard a story that you did not share with us uh, two weeks ago when you were here on the Cave Cast, <laughs> and I'm gonna wait till you come back. I'm gonna give you a chance to willingly share this story, but I'm angry. I'm angry. <laughs> we were short short some fucking uh, time last week that we could have used yeah. used a good a nice uh, story nice, nice portion of, of that time <laughs> large extra pine large to, yeah. portion of. <laughs> That story. Um, so, like I said, uh, I guess the conclusion, uh, my conclusion on the whole Indians thing, is, yeah, you know, whatever. It it is. A, Take but, that, white man. You but, deserve but it, I guess. Because because we're not involved and because yeah. we don't care. I I get that we can we can go whatever 
and, right. and we can say that. But I, there are some people that really, I mean, the Roseburg Indians, they really do, I mean, stick behind that, and, and they live that. There's a certain sort of pride they get out of that. Now. But they can still have that same pride if the names change. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not, you're not, your pride's not for the Indians. It's your for pride's for RHS. Roseburg. Yeah, Roseburg High School. Yeah. And, and, that's the, and that's who you're supporting. So the whole f- thing of the names, sports teams, teams' names change all the time. Yeah. They have throughout the course of fucking history. You know, like what were the St. Louis somethings i don't know no one knows who the saint Louis because <laughs> it was so knows. long it was ago lost to history yeah the only the only records burned <laughs> up in an archive fire and uh nobody knows the spread from ferguson <laughs> <laughs> oh, i don't know how close those two cities are but they're pretty close actually uh, yeah. pretty close same uh same county i think big up to ferguson yeah yeah stand to burn for s- stand with your black person I, I don't know what the new hashtag is now yeah um uh, i i don't i michael brown got a monument that's what i know did he yeah it blows my mind yeah. not that i i just say uh, he he was he was thuggish you know he thuggish the before, word thug. wait, wait wait before we go in i, I, I know that thug. this is a beautiful you might as well just say okay. i can uh, segue right into a great no, thing right yeah now. <laughs> before before we do though i i saw this was kind of interesting state senator jeff cruz from roseburg Oh. Uh, Cruise Farms, maybe? Is it Z or S? K R U S E. That is a cruise. That, that's he's the not, American don't cruise. Don't worry, he's he's a Republican, so uh, <laughs> it's not C R U Z. There is the. What's his name? Senator Cruz? For, he's straight up. Um, he? That. Catholic? Uh, yes, he's Catholic. He's a Catholic. He's a Gentile? Yes. Um,. So he doesn't state look. Senator Jeff Cruz, Republican Roseburg, Cruz, yeah. has drafted a bill that says the Board of Education doesn't have jurisdiction over state mascots. So there, there's something going on here where motherfuckers are trying to keep this from happening, or they were before they realized that it wasn't uh, drafted a bill. That it Re- was. Representative Sherry Springer, Republican from Skio. Oregon drafted a bill waiving the ban for <laughs> districts that have gained mascot approval for nearby from nearby tribes. So, come on, come on, guys, can we can we use Indian? No. Nope. No, you can't. So, yep, yeah, that's why that that's exactly. So I figured I that's why I read something that that's what it was about. That they just they said no, they didn't want to do it. It was, but that wasn't um. I don't know what year that was from. That's the problem. Since the 1970s, more than 600 high school and college teams across the country have done away with their Native American nicknames, including 20 in Oregon. That makes me feel sort of... 600. Makes us feel like we're a town full of bigots. Well, and also, (laughs) uh, I've always heard since I was a kid that up until like the late 80s, there was the sign in Sutherland that basically told black people not to be out after dark. So... Yeah. I don't know if that's true. It could be another uh, wives' sure. tale. Like you probably go around to many places. Still around find here that sign. <laughs> find that sign somewhere. Um, I, I, I just I remember walking with people and having <laughs> yell out the window at them. Opponents say Indian mascots are racist, reinforced stereo and re- reinforced stereotypes, and promote bullying of Native students. Supporters say the mascots are a way to honor Native American history, evoking values of strength and bravery. I hate that. <laughs> we can't stand behind uh, it at all. No, now. <laughs> because there's. Str- what is this? <laughs> I'm offended with you guys. Yes. Fuck the Indians. I mean, except unless they're from India or, yeah. you know, I, I'm not saying fuck the name. Fuck the name, the Indians. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> You, you could. That, how quick can somebody lose you with even if you're on their side when they start in with a bad argument? You're like, like oh, I like, can't. Uh, I'm not standing no, by that one. No, bit. that was. You should have let me talk. <laughs> yeah, I love how their their brave bravery and loyalty. You mean their strength and bravery? Slave, their 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 slavery they went through. <laughs> in their um. What do you call the get the projects 
that you know we, we that we gave black people. Yeah, you know we sort of gave them their projects, a piece of fucking land. But no, no, seriously, you guys, we're gonna keep calling you Indians. But you have all this land, you can light off whatever kind of firework you want. Isn't do whatever, that cool? Do whatever drugs you want. No, no, no. We took ninety five <laughs> to ninety nine percent of what you used to have. But look, but look, if you look, you can't. We changed all this is yours. Everything you see is yours. But well, 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 look, look how much you have. Literally everything you see. Don't walk five feet to the end of this deck because if you could see that, you can't go you, over that you mountain. You can't have that. That yeah. mountain on the other That's side. Ours. That, that is ours. And everything um, you see from the top of that mountain. No, yeah, uh, that is ours. Uh, yeah, yeah, we we did kill off a large majority of your relatives and ancestors. We and we know and we know the other side of the mountain was where you buried them. <laughs> we, but we need a place for an apartment complex and So I I know that we did backhanded and or underhanded and, and cheap kind of things in order to kill off a large portion of your entire culture and change the way you do things forever. But, but you can come to our churches. Two. Yeah. Just don't wear your stupid little bead thingies, yeah. you know, and don't get mad if somebody calls you an Indian. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you are. <laughs> and you keep your peyote on this portion of... Don't step over here with that peyote. Or give that peyote to any of us white men. And if you do, make sure he doesn't leave your property. Uh, uh, see that tree over there? That's ours. Is that a cactus? Okay. <laughs> Is that a cactus? Uh, Jesus, there's a war going on there's inside my head. Nobody's safe from. Um, Ow. so damn it, I I blew right through that perfect segue into cop killing. I mean, killer oh. cops, not cop killing. <laughs> Do you hear a helicopter? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to make a helicopter sound. I just couldn't. <laughs> Have you ever tried? To <laughs> <make it? laughs> I can't do it quick enough. <laughs> That's way better than mine. Well, I spit all over everything. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, change the name. Fuck you, Redskins. Redskins is even worse. That's racist. That one. That, that's straight up racist. That one racist. Is, is basically the Indian or the Native American. You can't stand by Redskins. Right? You know, Indian is is almost. It's almost been made socially acceptable. We, we were almost done with this, but yeah. I mean, we gotta we gotta cover this. It, 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 the red skin though is what the f- we 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 called them red skins. Yeah, like, they never like, they never once called themselves the, red skins. The, the Cow Creek uh, red, red skin, skin tribe. <laughs> Oh, you know, God. and I can see why they would, co- they possibly could have called themselves Indians, not knowing what it meant. Yeah. You know, and it spread. Yeah. Like well, wild, that's like wildfire you know? or smallpox across <laughs> the fucking United States. <laughs> On that, let's go to break, yes, get some okay. fresh air. Um, so we've got I a. Love uh, all races. We got a new. When we come back, we're going to keep, it, keep white it local still. We're going to talk about. Uh, uh, Oregon timber companies that are spraying their loggers with uh, caustic chemicals that make you puke up blood and give you s- stuff on your skin. Are they sort of like pesticides? Yeah, they, they're they exactly like pesticides because pesticide. they're pesticides. Um, mm-hmm. So we're going to break, and uh, we've got a special word from a um, – which, I mean, I'm not saying you should not listen to this, but, you know, if you we really – support- Equalness here. <laughs> uh, new presidential candidate uh, via Monk Dog, and you'll see who he's supporting and um, make your uh, make your choice. You know, with a little bit of intelligence when the time comes. We'll be back. Pay attention. Guys. Hey Jesus, it's me again. I was just checking in to let you know that the past two presidential terms have left us good God-fearing Americans in turmoil. We need a savior to repair the damage the Muslim dictator we call President Barack Hussein Obama has caused, and a strong man of faith to prevail against the witchcraft of Hillary Rodham Clinton. Is it a coincidence that Rodham rhymes with God damned? I don't think so, and that's what will be if we allow the satanic practices of the Democratic Party to continue. So I've decided to send a name your way, Mike Huckabee, 
I'm praying you'll give this man the strength to overcome the liberal demons in our country and to purify our homeland's strong Christian slash cult-like beliefs back to the days of burning people at the stake and stonings. Who knows, if Hillary Clinton's exposed during the process, you may be killing two birds with one stone. In Jesus' name, Amen, and God bless America. You know, me being a me being a Hillary Clinton backer, I would like to argue with you, but you make some solid points. Fuck, and I don't know she. And uh, you know, I what she does behind that curtain. I might be changing, swinging my vote last minute. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think Kynes we'll is going to do one, uh, right. endorsing his his pre- presidential candidate for 2016. Scared of his. Yeah. But uh, we'll Still see. Fucking, yeah. <clears throat> so, he's a good arguer. Um. Oh my God, you you got you should have seen the. It seems like once every three months or so, Kynes gets into a Paul Walker thing. What is this deal with Paul Walker? <laughs> uh, let me try to cold call him right now. Uh, yeah, I got. I want to know what's his deal with Paul Walker. I mean, it's funny, you know. It is, <laughs> he does have this this fucking thing for Paul Walker that he hates him. Let's see if he comes through. He has been coming through in the clutch when I cold call him lately. There's a lot of k- words. <laughs> in cold call coming through in the clutch when I cold call him. When I cold call Kai. You don't answer the cold call, turn you into a cold case. This could turn to a cold case. Ah, uh, waffles. Turn this court case into a dragged up lawsuit. I'm attracted to her dad now. He's more cute. <clears throat> okay, well, um, yeah, he just got he got into uh some guy, some guy called him a douchebag for talking about a dead guy like that, and then uh. I thought it was funny because Dana, who, whoever's Facebook thread it was, she goes, and you've just unleashed Kyle Zoder. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> and yeah, it went went downhill from there. But then it seems like whenever Kyle gets into these internet arguments with people, he turns them around at some point. Because there, I'll, I'll be honest, there was a point where a girl came in and, and started kind of calling him out on his arguing techniques kinds oh really she made a couple of good points where i thought like oh he's gonna she's gonna have him on his heels and uh and and that you know then he, he turns really, turns it around it's it it's re- if you think about it it's just it's just countering what another person says and and not being full of shit when you're saying it. <laughs> yeah. you know actually no, having having something to back it with and and and, and that's with kinds he has that you know he has all he has ammunition for days. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, and it's and it's sort of my, if I had more heart for it, the arguing. I think I couldn't do it to that extent. Well, he makes it so I funny. Gar. Yeah, he, he makes it so funny. I, I would be too factual, and he it, reminds me a lot of uh, the way Patton Oswald will argue with people on Twitter, the comedian, and. Uh, and he he does a lot of stuff where it's it's because you'll see some people argue on online and get mad, get real mad, yeah. and start saying just hateful, hateful things. And if you can if you can keep factual and have do fun, you know say funny shit, uh-huh. then I think you win. But yeah, he just turns them around. And um, anyways, uh, the online thing there was somebody that I follow on Twitter said um we need to get the occasionally they'll go this twitter profile is ha- spewing hate speech or oh. or uh you know fucking photos or whatever you know and there was a, like three of them that were like the the something about the promoting child pornography or something like that so i'm thinking okay good cause you know I'll go. I'll go check out the hate speech ones, and yeah. and if it's somebody being you know uh, niggers and blah, blah, you know if it's somebody being, I'll throw. I'll throw. Or I'll report them. You know, just uh, because. Yeah, they deserve it. Yeah. Fucking don't be. Th- it has nothing to do with outrage. It just has to do with you're, with you're getting fucking... to a dumb person the best that uh, yeah. that I can. So, 
so you but <clears throat> but what you have to do is you have to go to the fucking pro profile that the they're talking about and click on the button and say I want to report them. But here's the thing about when you go to a Twitter profile that somebody has told you we need to do a mass report of this guy to get him get his account shut down because they're it's promoting child pornography. So I click on the link to go to the guy's Twitter profile so I can report him and there is a picture of a baby holding a dude's dick. And I now cannot unsee that. I can't unsee that. And you just, because what you just. <clears throat> so. I, the picture you just fucking put in my head. So, two of these, two of are these. Are you fucking kidding me? Two of these profiles I went to were already shut down because it, it was an anonymous thing. Honey you know, just left the room. You, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. You, you know, anonymous, like. Like, yeah, if you're going to take a picture of a baby holding your dick, at least don't put it online, you know? Keep it secret for you and your friends to share or whatever. Did it come back? No. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I was going to be like, no, funny. Funny's still gone. It, can't, it crept back in, but I can't. My heart is sinking right now. That is awful. I mean, it, the baby was at least over 18. I mean, well, I mean you don't remember anything... You know, before the age of three, so he's... The, the baby was at least over eighteen. Uh, okay, months no. old. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. So, so the first two I go to, they've already been shut down. Enough people have gone and reported them what to where the the, the page is shut down and you what can't is see this anything. Episode about, but but it's a bad one. This is this this is this gonna be. This is off. They're not gonna have dark. to pull a bunch of clips out. They'll just say play episode forty seven. Uh, yes. Uh, but but the last one I go to 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 report this whatever it is that that sounds like a good cause, you know, and I go to it and it, the profile pic. You don't even have to go into the pictures. It's the goddamn profile pic, and I'm just like, holy Jesus fucking Christ! And uh, so what? I mean, what do I do? No God. I report him immediately. No, I went to his pictures, and, and I. Because I'm an asshole, and you wanted to see how fucking weird this guy I, was. I did, yeah. and and please, uh, no descriptions for about these fucking pictures. I don't want to know. I'll tell you that okay. there was no more uh, blatantly obvious child molestation. Was so so here, there was a that bunch was of the only picture. There was a bunch of his, was it on his page? It was his profile pic. And was there anything else implying child molestation? There was a bunch of pictures of dudes sucking other dudes off. Whether the whether the Taiwanese boys in boys in these pictures were over eighteen or under eighteen, I could not possibly tell you. But uh, that's what the rest of it was. Facebook hacks happen. That's uh, that's one thing on Facebook that I try. I it was there was more to it than that, that you could tell, and there was time. You know what okay. I mean? It wasn't right. a one day thing. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's what I will. <clears throat> I wanted to know if there so, was. So t- yeah. Time needless to say, instead of reporting him, I followed him, and he's a really good follow on Twitter. I got to say, no, uh, I report <laughs> reported him. Ah, uh, yeah, you and I'm sure he's Facebook gone. To say every day. Uh, yeah, he makes some really really good uh, political points. <laughs> He's the president I have a, of Nambla. See, uh, if I wasn't serious about something that I would do, I'd talk about it on here. But I'm just, I'm not, yeah, I don't need to throw that out there. It, it, uh, it was well, awful. It oh, was, God. Um, and I just, I. If I could just kill a man. I'm trying, you try to like, because I've seen some, I've seen some Twitter profiles that are pretty horrible. It's a it's obvious like troll people because you could go yeah. on anybody that I follow is is fairly politically or or their comics or something and there's gonna be trolls in there that are just saying horrible and it's stuff that makes you mad because of how dumb it is yeah but, ignorance, but ignorance. also it's, it's just like why would you s- why would you say that God and and uh, you go to their accounts and it's just gaping assholes on all their pictures and. <laughs> And just shit covered dicks and just weird. Yeah, so, you know so what I mean. Like th- that's gruesome, like somebody who pictures of dead black people. Like yeah, who wants to live? That's how they really feel about shit. I don't. They're fucking I don't understand undercover the weird. Yeah, I don't they're understand undercover the weird. 
It, you know, uh, and everybody has their form of weird. You know, everybody's yeah. weird in their own way. I love that, weird people. You know, close the closet, you know, shit behind the doors is a little bit different than how it really is. Yeah. You know, but I think most people can imagine how it is on the other side of the doors for the most part with average people. Yeah. But then you get the fucking people that are just the average, you know, people you think are the average people and they're the ones behind those sites yeah, with you can the see, gaping yeah. assholes. And it, fucking, dude, it does make me think I see like weird people at work and I'm like, is this one, does this guy have a secret Twitter account where it's, you know, it's not his face and, and his name and try to look for the tortured people, you know, <laughs> Like about something you can tell yeah. they just don't they don't they never talk no, about yeah, it. Yeah, and they have they're quiet, you know. And God, no wonder people think I'm weird. <laughs> Dude, well, well, my, part of my thoughts of one when I originally wanted you to get a Twitter was like, like I keep, could do that. Keep, keep that shit separate and just do all your weird shit. Because because we we both have like I've there's stuff that pops into my head that I don't put on Twitter just because it's connected to my Facebook and yeah. I'm like that's why I don't a, exactly like, and and it, it's not like it would matter anyways because it's stuff that like if someone wanted the same to see the your same page. two people that favorite my shit all the time yeah. you and Kyle it would just be for you guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's that's pretty I mean, much least, what it is yeah. I mean that's where. It, 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 that's my audience. That's the audience, you know. Like I don't, I don't have a huge fucking, I don't have a huge fan base when it comes to my stuff. But for for the most part, Kinds is fucking consistent. Yeah. On you know, like if if it's good, he he if it's good, he 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 puts he he likes it. Yeah. You know, he he doesn't. He's a liker. You know, he's someone who likes. You know, whereas. <laughs> For you, for the most part, it has to be really good yeah. for you to like it, you know? And, and I, I fall in between there somewhere. I, uh, I've been, and this is such a dumb, I get loose with such it. such a dumb loose conversation. With the likes. But, but Yeah. It, it, <laughs> uh, no, on Twitter, I've been a little more loose with my, my favorites, favorites and stuff yeah. and likes, you know, transitioning into Facebook and stuff. <laughs> it's weird because it's just, it's... Some people like to, I mean, there's some people that just like every fucking yeah. thing there is to like, yeah. and too. And it's just like, God damn, like fucking, you know, give yourself something. So it's, so it's special when it happens. Like it's so <laughs> that's what it, it's really supposed. It's not supposed to be just fucking every fucking thing yeah. you see on a page. Like, 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 like I've like. been doing anything that makes me chuckle, like yeah. gets one. Cause they didn't used to, I would just chuckle and move on. Now I'm like, eh, at least give somebody you know, why does it feel? I don't know why, but it feels good to get likes. Oh you know? yeah, oh yeah, it does. And when I go on my SoundCloud, I'm like, oh shit, yeah, I got fucking, I got listens, I got eight plays today. You know? Somebody listened to my shit eight times, and it just it makes or, or somebody favorited this. You know, I don't understand how it's become so ingrained, and and we were always we, we were talking about competitiveness earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might have something to do with that. I, it is, and it's. But everyone has their own level of where they feel yeah. like they've made like okay that that's that was upper echelon shit yeah you know like me I have a hundred and thirty nine friends and I doubt that I just think that's how much it says and people who have blocked me right. still pop up as friends sort of and say so they deactivated their account I've been getting <laughs> a lot of those really <laughs> like, yeah but I, is there a way is there a way me. you can see what, when you get blocked. No, I think it pops up is they are deactivated their account really? on your friends list. It means that to me because I've looked for their I I've signed out of Facebook and you look for that person's account. I'm stalkerish, <clears throat> I guess uh, at times. You know, uh, and, uh, and, and and you go like, oh, they fucking still have a Facebook, <laughs> like, motherfucker. Yeah, lots motherfucker. and lots of friends, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want me as a friend. Uh, you so know. Be uh, it. Mikey's Mikey's wife. Yeah, yeah. Uh she apparently I didn't even know it, but she unfriended me around Easter time when I was posting the uh the Easter pictures of like the Ghostbusters <laughs> zapping Jesus as he rose from the grave and, God. <laughs> and uh, all you have to do is just click I don't want to see this person's page. Yeah, apparently yeah. apparently she unfriended me for that, which which I was like I don't like unfriend people okay, very often. Did, I guess do you unfriend me just because you don't want to see the shit? But then, then I see her like two days later, and and nothing, you know. It's like I she knows better than to get into a religious debate with me face to face. I guess, but <laughs> Facebook 
in Facebook's one of those things. If if you take it to heart too much, yeah, your fucking life's gonna be a hell. You know, you're gonna be sitting in front of that computer all day. I've been I've... on fucking Facebook, fucking trying to fucking look like somebody. You know that you're not that you're not, but you know you're trying. It's just people get so caught up in it. it yeah, caught up in. It. I mean, in all, it's just. For me, because I'm so anti, not anti-social, but I don't fucking communicate with people. Right. I'm horrible at communication. I don't say bye when I leave the house. Why are you talking like Barack Obama right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm horrible at communication. <laughs> but America, I assure uh, you, uh, <laughs> we will get these jobs back. Oh, uh, but you know, like so. I, and then, and then Bush. I, I try to push. Bush. Uh, I'm not very good with the old communication. The, the old communication that you guys do. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't even, uh, fucking interrupt with that bullshit. No, but that's and so I, I try to show people, you know, like uh, you know, like I'm not an extremist to per <laughs> se, but I want people to see who I am, and they can make a call on that, yeah. you know, like if they don't want to, if they, in in and, and they don't, people don't give me shit about what yeah. I post. You know, I think if they don't like it, they keep their mouths shut. Yeah, and if people but, want to call you an extremist, you want it to be from the clear and present evidence that you give them on a day to day basis. Yeah, you know, and so I, you know, I try to <clears throat> try to just have you know like not feel good, but I I ride the line a little bit on things. Like I I you know I I only state I don't I don't go out on limbs. Uh-huh. You know, if you've ever noticed, I don't really go out on a limb with the shit I write. It's you all... have been a little bit more lately. A when, little bit more than I, usual. Uh, it's when you get real angry. It's, I want, I, it's something I, 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 I sort of want to know about myself, I guess. <laughs> because I, it's, it's not every fucking thing that I come across on the internet. I don't know yeah. why certain things strike me as, yeah, I got to write about this. You uh-huh. know, because I don't. You know, I, I would sometimes, lo- sometimes things bring up emotions where it's just like, oh, I gotta, I would love and to we're be writers. A, that's, I mean, that's a political activist. I would love to be an activist. You know, I would love to have shit to say, you know, and, and have people be inspired by it. So that's sort of what I, I'm, I'm going for a little bit is some, ins- you know, like fucking pe- there's some humanity left. Yeah. And, and also like a lot of my political views are basically mixed a mix of my immediate gut feeling that I have when trying when reading about something and then uh a mix of people's opinions that I respect you know what I mean yeah where I could take a little like oh that makes sense oh that makes sense you know that oh that too and it's just I don't know it's hard like you said uh it's something you want to know about yourself like I think I think the whole online era is is definitely if you get to a certain level of an internet presence, you'll find out about yourself real quick, like more than more so than normal because people start calling it. Yeah, you know, they're gonna start calling yeah. you on shit. You know, it's like, and that's what I worry. Like I I worry I worry about it because I do like I do actually go off a of gut emotion, gut yeah. feeling, and I do type and I and I. Don't go fact for fact for fact. <laughs> yeah. I find facts. I'm I'm real spread out with them, you know. And then there's how I feel in the middle. Like I I I wanted because it is. I think there's a little bit more extremism in in from not on a day to day basis, but every you know when I feel that way. Yeah. It's there there, there and it, this had to do with the Tamir Rice shit, you know, right. and him being charged. You would brought it up right. to me the prior day and I went and I looked into it and he got charged this is a 12 year old boy that got killed by a police officer within two seconds of the cops with stopping a toy gun. plane with a toy yeah. gun he got charged with aggravated menacing and inducing panic this is all after he's dead and the officer as far as I know hasn't been charged with the crime you indicted or anything they have he, I believe sure. he's been charged but, but not questioned okay. or indicted okay um but and the thing about it about that too I'll, I'll let oh yeah it's, when one uh is the inducing panic thing which I just now thought about when you said that we watched the whole video or, or I don't know if we, I watched it with you but we watched we watched a him good him 
where we were critical about it, we're watching this kid at, at playing with a toy gun at, in a park, a 12-year-old, looks like a 12-year-old, and then there was a couple of times where looks like a he's exactly. walking backwards in front of somebody and he's got the toy gun in his hand. He's not pointing it at the person, but the person that's walking is just walking and it's obvious the guy's talking to him, the kid's talking to him, but the person's just walking. He's not nervous or yeah, they knew it was a kid. scared <laughs> or, you know... Or trying to run away, they're just walking leisurely. There That's panic. No panic. That's the yeah. induced panic. But go the pan- ahead. Go the ahead. officer so, was who, who was panicked. Yes, like this is Tamir Rice in uh, Cleveland. This is Cleveland. Yes, Cleveland. Yeah. And and this is this is word for word what I wrote on it. He goes, "There's no justice if this is how the system is going to continue. There's something seriously wrong with these outrageous charges. Anyone who has seen the story and agrees with charging a 12 year old boy with menacing and inducing panic is a moron." You know, that's me. We'll stop there. That's something that, for argument purposes, could be left out. It's you kind know? of, I, I but don't it need is. To put I it, like it because it's kind of like a challenge. Like, like say the, something. Yes, you know, yeah, say exa- something. That's sort of, ex- you know, yeah. And, and I'm gonna put this out there, but and I'm also gonna put a slight challenge to anybody that re- that the, feels like I, I'm, I'm calling you that, that I'm talking out of pocket. Yeah, yeah. So okay. The police officer shot and killed him within approximately two seconds. That's how could there have been time for him to have been menacing to trigger? And how could there have been time for him to have been menacing to the trigger happy officer who killed him? The trigger stop there. Trigger happy. I I don't like it. I don't like after I've read it multiple times. <laughs> I don't like it. It, it. And and that was so. I'm seeing that. Okay, I. I am I am being very very um on a, my with my gut at this point. It just oh, let's start again. Just goes to show if there's a way out, the police will find it and cover their tracks, even if there's a fucking video showing what happened. It's an extremely sad and enraging story to me. You know, I mean that that's all that all that all is okay. Then okay, we shouldn't we shouldn't have to fear for our children who could who could. Ah! We, we shouldn't have to fear for our children. Whatever. I am fucking so lost right now. It's too far away for me to read. Um, <laughs> just to let you guys know at home, everything that he just said was written down on that page. Yeah. It's really <laughs> weird. Even, even the... Ah, and I'm so lost right now. I don't know why I so, wrote it. So now you can see why I didn't have so much confidence in this post. <laughs> uh, yes. And that was my... Whole, <laughs> and, and, and then I... Okay. It, it goes on to read, "Oh shit, I lost okay, my place." I did you know again. what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> we shouldn't have to fear that our children could have their lives taken for playing cops and robbers, or and th- these here parts, cowboys and Native Americans to nice. you know to, I like to it. bounce brings off it right our, back around. Our, our, let's talk about them again. No, I re- I remember when I and we all do when we we were at that age. We played yeah. with shit. Yeah, you know? yeah. We talked about that before. Yeah, we where, talked where about that. My favorite thing to do you was know. paint guns, paint squirt guns in order for and, them and, to look yeah. real, and then. And it's sad, to, and 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 just the la- the last part is sad to think that you could have been fucking killed and charged with fucking yeah. crimes like that with and no would, intent to even do any of that. We would have never been able to bring you this gem of a podcast yeah, that's going Jesus to offend Christ. everybody. <laughs> Jesus fucking did Muslim he, did Christ. He, did he say the nigger hangers? Yeah. <laughs> it was in context. And those people were said, I don't know how many times them people were said. <laughs> no, anyway. Those people. But yeah, okay. So I guess that online person personality you know is is something that it's it's a lot easier to manipulate in in, in yeah in, to manipulate if you wanted to how and, and to create a character online yeah. outside of who you are in a weird fucking way like that colin quinn fucking yeah. enrages me on a God. daily basis and he is one of the funniest comics yeah, you love him but you, you know he's you know he's joking people uh, see okay here's the thing if anybody's listening to this and hasn't joined twitter yet just to follow uh me and my companions then i don't know what the fuck you're doing but uh it's yeah, good it's the best place to get news we're great and, and we're great and we're pretty spectacular but 
Colin Quinn, who's a comedian, and he is very well respected, been in the game a long time, used to do uh, Weekend Update and Saturday Night Live. And uh, in tough crowd. In tough crowd. Thank that you. Jeez, how can I fucking you? shit. And, <laughs> and he's got the most enraging Twitter persona. It's it's just this corny like dad humor, and then a bunch of just retweets of of his fans saying how they wish he would different ways they wish he would, he would <laughs> die. Jesus, and how much he ruins people's days at times. Yeah, he's he's had me pulling out the hair. The I have only left. the only fun ones are when he does. Okay, so, uh, God damn it, let me find something good. <laughs> He goes, he goes, I saw The Who and Springsteen last night, Amy Schumer and Chris Rock tonight. I guess it's true. You are who you hang with. George, Clo- <laughs> George Clooney says men shouldn't get plastic surgery. So arrogant. Not every silver fox looks like us, George. The average guy needs it. <laughs> So so it's it's stuff like that and it's like oh wake up and grab today by the short and curlies guys gang like gang yeah. yeah gang hey gang but the the ones these ones are funny like sweet saturday give a thought to a friend plant an idea about a third party in a coworker's mind <laughs> <laughs> these these ones, and then he just goes on a run like say something lecherous to a relative push a plant off a shelf turn your back on a pet uh. S- Sift through a neighbor's clothes. We've all turned our backs on pets before. Put a fatty on notice. <laughs> Chew gum with a nerd. Give the silent treatment to a nerd. Slap box a kitten. <laughs> joke around with a cabinet maker. <laughs> yeah. what? It's just weird. It's yeah. But but Whatever his his in. his online his you know online persona is is something completely different than the type of person he is, and it's enraging. But but that's how you do it, you know what I mean? Like, and then it's a, but it's it's a good way, and he's not hiding behind it. Yeah, that's a, that's the thing. It's no, like he doesn't. Tr- when yeah. people go, "This is not funny," I thought you were funny. This is and when they don't get the joke. He doesn't explain it. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just like, look, people who are gonna get it get it, and 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 anyone who knows Colin Quinn, yeah, understand. Medicine woman. What's that? Colin Quinn, medicine woman. Medicine woman. Doctor What's that? Quinn. Before and after. Doctor Quinn. Medicine. Oh damn it! Woman. That before and after sucked. <laughs> Will of Fortune, come on. So, um, um, am I glistening? I feel like I'm glistening. You're. G- <laughs> I'm sweating you my are, ass off. You're glistening. Yeah. yeah, fuck. If the sun was in here, my white legs would fucking no. You'd be shimmering like Edward the we need Vampire. Video. Gotta get video. <laughs> so we can see us just sweat to the oldies. I gotta put the air conditioner in here. This is, <laughs> you, do. I, you, you don't realize that door at You night don't realize how hot it is until fucking, yeah. yeah. You fucking lay next to somebody else with a 98.5 degree body oh, temperature. God. Let's see here. Let me find my. Uh, do, 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 do. Wah, wah. Okay. So. You've got uh you saw this picture obviously of the the two cops from between 1999 and yeah. 2003 oh, posing. Yes. What it is if if you guys haven't seen this is uh it's a picture surfaced that the Chicago P- PD has tried to keep off the books for years now and it's it's basically recently surfaced and it's a picture of two white cops with a black uh prisoner suspect handcuffed He's not handcuffed. He's not is he? handcuffed. I don't think I'm he is. I'm pretty sure he's handcuffed. I thought he was handcuffed, with uh, his hands behind his back and on the ground with his antlers on his head and head up. I could be very wrong. Oh, I'm on the Tamir Rice thing. Hang on a second. Let me find. Um. Anyways, though, I, I well, like what you, I, I, I tend to agree with you now after looking at the photo more. Obviously, because I know exactly what's going on in this photo. Yeah. <laughs> so there's the picture. No handcuffs. Uh, or is he handcuffed? Uh, he could be, but uh, it doesn't look he's like He's laying it. there. Oh, and, he's, and he's making a goofy face. Yeah. The the black guy. And they've got uh, they've got two rifles uh, like that they're crossing over him, and then they're holding a pair of deer antlers on his head backwards, if, I'm, if I may add. <laughs> uh, that's a white tail rack, and they are holding it backwards, which pisses me off. <laughs> <clears throat> Very for Doug- a whole nother reason very douglas county of you but <laughs> uh so 
my Douglas County is showing. Uh, <laughs> go into the make and model of the scope on the rifle. Yeah. Like, you see that one here? You can drop a pheasant for 500 yards away. <laughs> do, you, do you realize that there's people that grew, were born and raised in Oregon and Douglas County that talk with a southern accent? Have you seen these people oh, before? Oh, I've seen these people. What is the deal? Why is the southern accent everywhere? It, it it shouldn't be. It really it's hu- I think it's human nature to emulate. Hey, nice to meet you. My name's Billy. Uh, they come from fucking. Like, I don't know if it's a maybe just a backwoods thing. Maybe here you be Marcus and I'll I'll be, I'll be a guy that you're meeting in the bar. All right. Hey man, how, how's it going? My name's Billy. It's nice to meet you. I, I you know I'm too nice of a person. I can't be mean. Okay, in character. No, yeah. You uh, just, how's it you're going, just Billy? The guy. Hey, Billy. Uh, it is good to meet you. It's man. going pretty good. So just think about how you, what you would be thinking about a person with this accent, like, like if you're talking to him, like, oh, they must be from, you know, Georgia. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, where, where, hey, where hey, hey, man. <laughs> 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 We're the worst at improv. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my name, <laughs> my name is Billy. Man, I'm just having a drink out here. You, you, you from around here? Yeah. Uh, I'm born, born I am fucking horrible. <laughs> God. This wasn't this wasn't this wasn't discussed the with whole, me prior. The, the whole punchline is, hey man, where are you from? Are well, you I'm from, from Sutherland. Uh, just uh, outside of Sutherland. God damn. That is the, uh, it's crash. We hit it. We well, we've honestly been doing really good on improv outside of cave casting. We do, right? <laughs> like I, I mean, all those times that okay. I remember doing it. So. That you, you know? <coughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that was horrible improv. <coughs> oh, it's a sauna in here. Yeah. Um, Blame it on the heat. I had heat exhaustion every day. People, yeah, yeah. We're, people, we're, I like we're all them recovering peoples. from some sort of exhaustion. So this picture, so um, the, here's my immediate thought when I see this. I see the the thing. It's outraging, shocking picture of the Chicago PD posing with a yeah. a black suspect. I'm surprised it doesn't say unarmed. But uh, so shut those fucking kids. No. <laughs> uh, I hope I hope it was on mic so it doesn't just say. Uh, so I see the picture and uh, I'm like. My immediate thought is the black guy's making a goofy face and yeah, I could see the outrage if he was handcuffed and being forced into this, but it looks like he's just chilling and he's making a goofy, he's got his tongue sticking out. Yeah. So I'm like, he, you know, who, why are you going to be like, who cares? His hands aren't seriously aren't. So they're not behind his back. No, that to me gives it away completely that this guy's in on and the it. goofy face. Like, yeah, he's, he's, He's playing along with it. So I'm just like, big fucking deal, right? You know, like, who cares? I, I understand that we're racially sensitive in these times about cops, white cops and black suspects. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, let's, can we just let something, it was a joke that the guy looked like he was enjoying. You know, I'd like to see his, hear his side of things. I haven't, they, they haven't released his name. So one thing that I read was that the he Chicago, hasn't been fired yet. the Chicago PD has, tried to keep this thing silent for over a decade because they were worried about the black guy in the picture about uh his identity and and oh, things like that. Okay. That's what yeah. yeah. So they were worried about keeping this guy's not, identity not safe. Not that these officers yeah, were some very <clears throat> solid citizens. So, uh the Chicago Police Department fought to keep private this horrendous photo taken blah blah blah. Officers Jerome Finnegan and Timothy McDermott posing with a black man as if he were a dead deer. Uh Maybe it's because the cash strap city has already paid over a half billion dollars in settlements because of police misconduct over the past 10 years alone. Half a billion dollars in settlements due to police misconduct past 10 years. It's got deep pockets. So, or maybe it's because it was recently revealed that the Chicago Police Department has a secret facility it has been oh, using yeah. to harass people off the record. The yeah. black site, the Guantanamo Bay and American fucking, soil. They take prisoners yeah. there, yeah. With, give them no lawyer contest. Yeah, say, you can't talk to your fucking lawyer. Fuck yeah. you. Uh, people, well, didn't they just kill someone just, that got exposed recently, didn't it? Did they, I don't know if they killed anybody. Something happened there that got exposed it I a think little people, bit. Yeah. People that they were 
keep it in there and stuff. Yeah, okay. Uh, also, Chicago passed a reparations bill for many victims their police have tortured, which is uh, any, from the 1970, 1970-something to 1991, there was a police chief there that uh, was really corrupt, and, and they would they would fuck, fuck people up and shit. Yeah. Uh, so let's see the two officers in the picture officer number one in the picture (laughs) pictured on the left is in prison for ordering a hit on another officer known as one of the most corrupt officers in the history of the police Chicago Police Department details of his crimes uh, continue to emerge to this day in a plea agreement Finnegan stipulated that he unlawfully stopped and detained persons conducted illegal searches and arrested individuals based on false evidence uh SOS which was a uh, a secretive part part of the police department called the special operations section so not only do they have their own black site where they take people off the record they've got a special operations section of the Chicago PD which he was part of so this this is literally training day point part 2 Jesus. like uh uh, SOS, they're called SOS, gained notoriety in 2006 when Finnegan and others were indicted for breaking into homes without warrants and stealing money from Fuck. and even kidnapping suspects. Uh, SOS was disbanded a year later. Fuck. Uh, another officer from the SOS is awaiting sentencing. Two other officers were federally convicted and seven more were convicted of lesser state charges. So I do always get a warm feeling in my stomach <laughs> when when corrupt police go down. Yeah. So there's that, no but doubt in that. the most egregious theft listed in the article was when Finnegan and two partners stole $450,000. The group, according to the article, stopped a driver of a pickup truck, handcuffed and frisked him. Then, with guns drawn, they searched his house, finding a leather bag filled with bricks of cash. Finnegan split the money with two officers. Aside from, you know, not making the new guy shoot the guy with a shotgun, <laughs> you know, on his couch. Yeah. Yeah, it's training day. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. That guy is fucking Denzel. The, the dude. It, I'm very, King Kong. What year I'm did that cases come? Cases on all you bitches. What year did that come out in? Uh, you think it could have been maybe training day was after this dude. Well, apparently no. they started their shit in '99, and I think uh, training, training day was. was I was in high school. Uh, nine years before God Finnegan damn. ever spent a day in prison, he and other officers, according to a civil suit, broke into the home of a man who turned out to be a Chicago firefighter, tortured him in front of his wife and kids, and when the firefighter reported it, an investigator came to his house and told him to not follow this case, and or else he could lose his job. And so yeah. somebody... <laughs> If they don't shut those goddamn kids up. Oh, remember what happened last time. Yeah. I don't fucking want to talk about uh, this. This is go time in about two seconds. No respect for the fucking professionals in this room. Uh, so they they basically... <laughs> the investigator told the guy to drop his case against Finnegan or else they would plant drugs on him and, and arrest him as a drug dealer and he would lose his job as a firefighter. Huh. Like these Pretty motherfuckers are detailed. So, so here's the thing: I can be not outraged about this picture, but I can hate the fuck out of those two white cops. Yeah, because they're some pieces of shit. And, and yeah, and on top of that, maybe even the fucking black man in the picture for fucking taking it and taking his race back fucking fifty years. <laughs> yeah, you know, like that's ridiculous. Uh, the other guy said he's he's embarrassed by his participation in the photograph. I made a mistake as a young impressionable police impressionable police officer who was trying to fit in. Uh, I dig, not so much. Uh, so I wonder the guy on the right. So the guy smiling is the super corrupt guy, and the guy, <laughs> and the guy with a frowny face is the guy that was just trying to fit in. That makes sense. Frowny face. Oh, oh, about that firefighter. An investigator left the plaintiff's home as the as he left the plaintiff's home. The firefighter is the plaintiff. Yes. He told the plaintiff, in quotes, "Just forget about this. Otherwise, kiss your job goodbye and you're fucked." 
This is a movie, dude. <laughs> These are movie. This is movie lines. Fucking. It's just ridiculous. That's sad, actually. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, I found it. And it you know, those basis for movies come from something real a lot of the times. Sin City didn't, but... Oh, this is a different guy. Terrence Thompson, who had his sentence vacated after all the officers were arrested and were convicted for corruption, <laughs> names McDermott as one of the officers who planted a gun on him and illegally detained him. So McDermott is the, the young, impressionable guy. Oh, God. So he's planting guns on dudes. That this guy that the, they planted a gun on was awarded 400 G's for the three years he spent in prison. So do you not like? How can anybody argue that there's not yeah. a fucking? It's not there, just it's, that is not a vacuum. It didn't just happen in, in Chicago. I guarantee there's black sites all over America that we just haven't all heard about yet. All over America. <laughs> all over America. That's I mean, any big city. I guarantee has something of that sort somewhere. Yeah. You know, I mean, I would I would even go as far as to saying Portland has something of that. Maybe not huge like that. That one was big. That was right. a big fucking building. But, you know, I'm sure they take certain criminals <sighs> to certain areas to, you know, like and in, in, to interrogate, to do whatever that isn't quote unquote, you know, legal. Yeah. And, um, uh, what, what you got? Oh, I was just, uh, how, how much longer do you think? Oh, we're done. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Why? What's up? Oh, I, my mom, oh. My, my mom's got to come pick me up and take me places. <laughs> <laughs> he loves his mother. There's nothing wrong with that. My mom. Um, so, uh, mom always said, yeah, I guess that's the conclusion is, uh, you know, always did, last don't last have last a problem office. with, don't have a problem with the picture. Hate yeah, the guy, hate, hate the police, the corrupt fucking pigs that are in, in that. Uh, you, you can't hate on the picture. You really, I mean, unless, if he's unless in there's on the joke, evidence saying otherwise, yeah. then you can't hate on it because it looks like they're all three in on the picture. Ha ha ha. This is funny. Right. You know, so it's like you were talking about earlier, the era of sensitivity has begun. Exactly, that's what it is. So, um, I would like to dedicate this podcast to sensitivity because of <laughs> how uh, walking on eggshells we've been this entire time. Um, it's, it's a good. It's a good. We have know, not walked. It, we have it, smashed every eggshell. It, it's a good contrast to what we bring original, or yeah, bring bring on to you guys originally. Yeah. Um, so that's uh, that's the podcast. I would like to remind you all that. Uh, June thirteenth, the glow party is coming. Um, you know, every time glow party comes, up, I think the globe trotters are coming. You know, the fuck. I was like, oh shit, I, I have he a said letdown. Glow, every, yeah, I, I get, I get fucking let down every, every time, time the glow <laughs> party ah, uh, is right. brought up. Uh, June thirteenth, it is coming fast. Roseburg residents and outside, if you can drive, it's uh thirteen dollars at the door, but. I think Show it'll up be early. Worth it. It's not a normal, not a normal fucking party. It's a lot. It's a lot funner atmosphere than just the normal rag tags. Like we talked about, there's gonna be a tent set up outside beforehand, yeah. so you don't have to wait in those long that long line. I and do nothing. actually. I I allocated 45 seconds for their plug for their party, and that 45 seconds is over. All so right. I take back what Marcus just said. Um, no. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I'm fucking, uh, I'm an asshole. And also, <laughs> also. Um, the video idea i'm serious get a hold of me if you want to dance in a video doesn't matter uh if you know any old people if you know <laughs> just dance if you know anybody that likes to dance and doesn't look like a um child molester there you go we don't want no those. child molesters Murders in my fine. video we have a strict policy about child molesters in our rap videos and we are like, never gonna let that happen again you have to take one of the two a murderer a rapist come on <laughs> who do you take you take the murderer yeah exactly so get a hold of me if you want to do it this is the song in question so this will be the only place you can hear it uh but get your dance moves ready now and start start figuring out what you want to do because uh this will be a real thing that we will be doing in the next few weeks so get a hold of us and uh that that is all for the cave cast 
I am Admire. That I, is... I'm me. <laughs> that is Marcus. Yeah, I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah. That, had to finish he comes and he goes, started. folks. He comes and he yeah. goes. Yeah. Um, this is the song. <laughs> this song is called Like This from the Rain Gods. Monkus and myself, tell your moms we said what's up. Tell them to come get in our video piece. Step through, bless you. Slip in a death bloom. Internal late mud vein to the test tube. Best move, hey, music is the meanest. Monk and admire three balls between us. And the proof is in the stuffing of your spirit. You ain't tough enough to not watch how you speak and take it easy there, buttercup. Batter up, no justice, no Kirby Puckett. Me and my homies say... Fuck your rice bucket. But I keep it coupled with illusions of grandeur. Show up on the field with some unusual standards. I can out rap these fools, it doesn't matter. Got a double edged gift. Both sides of the dagger, as a matter of fact. You try to bite and it's fighting words. Not only the threat of violence, cause you might have heard. Maybe you should try to take a code of silence, sir. Listen with that dull little knife, you ain't dicing words. Vocal solo, no bro, it's the rain gods. Open up the ozone, go with the same odds. Never gonna slow. We push through the pain, boss. This is my road. My scroll chick is stay off what you're done with my day I know you wanted a gray I see you looking for a way to make a negative betrayal You paint an image incapable of paying attention Can't listen up to the rhythm Can't live it up without giving away A little shame but hey No one's to blame Perfection's overrated Yeah we got reason to obtain It's in the brain power and strength and strange My kinda obvious Obliviously literal dream shape Metropolis we wear a heart No god to trust and hold our own Our bombs are busting balls Bounce them off the wall Keep what sticks free what falls Clean up like an all and calls The nuts in hand There's no stall in y'all Follow through or cut me loose Cause if you wanna crawl Sorry doll your aura's sort of boring I don't give it up to glory Holding stories as the borderline Start forming the storm front I won't give no fucks I will conduct the self-destruction While you're bluffing the blow up You think the flow's just a fluke All reputing, all disputed Till I'm blue in the face And start to puke It may be loose It is the way we produce It's faith and movement of the music In the name of the truth So who are you? Everybody dance like this Everybody dance like this Everybody dance like this Everybody dance like Everybody dance like this Everybody dance like this Everybody dance like this Everybody dance I got a way of living, been through some shit There's not a day that goes by that I don't give it at least 60% I try to circumvent and navigate to some extent But if it's one of those days, why would I fully commit? I'm over it by the sunrise, we're all a bit gun shy But sometimes we run into the bullets of dumb pride Cause young guys can lie about their fountains of youth While the old guys can fight and how they're long in the tooth We make these sounds in the booth to move them out in the truth The whistle buried under whistle blow a kick in the scoop With the kids on the stoop, the bones hidden in your closet Cell phone alone in the bathroom Making bomb threats honest Everything I say is out of context Full of faith but I got a no god complex Please allow me to throw stones While the words hurt you Take you to task No thieving that's the first virtue Now watch me dance with the showmanship You can toe the line while I Carlton all over it You with the distortion Rip and tear until you're torn From cheek to cheek it's tongue in cheek Until you're bleeding and sore When it leaks then it pours The forced anger from your coarse language I don't wanna know what it takes To make you boars famous So if you think the status quo Just needs a facelift Pray to your savior and Christ, I'll build a spaceship. Everybody dance like this. Everybody dance like this. Everybody dance like this. Everybody dance like Everybody dance like this. Everybody dance like this. Everybody dance like this. Everybody dance. Like this. Everybody dance.